Are you bored with your boring old plain light switch covers? Do they make you cry just by looking at them? Need a change? Well, today I'm here to show you guys how to spice up your light switch covers or outlets in cute ways, such as pictures, fabrics, and glitter. There's so many ways to transform your light switch covers. These are just a few. It is super easy and it is sure to catch anybody's attention. Start by taking a flat tip screwdriver and simply removing both the top and the bottom screws. Remove this and as many as you like and let's start decorating. I'm going to start with the glitter portion of this tutorial, so get your light switch covers and make sure to lay down some newspaper because glitter is definitely messy. I bought my glitter at Michael's, but you can get your glitter at any craft store or any dollar store. Basically everywhere sells glitter. As for glue, you can definitely use any glue you wish. I personally love the Aileen's Original Tacky Glue. It is amazing because it's already tacky, so you don't have to wait for it to get tacky. Using some foam paint brushes from Dollarama, now apply the glue all over the cover as evenly as possible, making sure to coat everywhere. It is important not to forget the sides and the edges of the cover. Coat everywhere but the back. Now for the glitter is the fun part. You can do any designs you wish. Any colors, any designs, it's completely up to you. For this one, I'm going to do half pink and the bottom half this beautiful rose gold color. I really wanted to do rose colored glitter. I think it's just beautiful. Now I'm going to pat the glitter to ensure that it sticks securely on my cover and pack the sides and edges as well until you have it all glittered up. Once you have it all glittered, you want to shake off the excess loose glitter that is just hanging around. If you can't stick, you can't hang. And leave that to dry for a good couple hours. Taking another light switch cover, I'm going to again evenly coat this with glue, not forgetting the edges and sides. This time, I'm going to do alternating slanted lines of glitter, some with this silver glitter, which has rainbow reflex, and the other with a gorgeous deep sea blue. This is fun because you can choose colors that match your room or just represent your personality. Pat the glitter on just as we did before and make sure to evenly coat the sides and make them all saturated. Shake off the excess glitter and there you go. There are endless possibilities with glitter designs and colors that will help spice up your room. This black glitter I got only for 99 cents at Michael's, which is definitely a great bargain because it looks amazing. And this silver glitter is my favorite, which is only $5.99 at Michael's. And just leave these out to dry for a few hours. These are dry. They have been drying for about three hours. So I am just going to knock off the extra glitter. Using an acrylic clear coating is completely optional. It will secure your glitter and give it shine. I just put this on a paper plate and I'm going to spray this. Please follow the directions on your spray can. I am personally in love with this picture with all these shoes or Barbie shoes here. Rip this picture out of the magazine and I'm going to crop it on wherever I like. When you are cutting, you don't want to cut straight to the light switch cover. You want to cut about an half an inch to an inch above it because you want the picture not just to stop right here, but you want it to curve over. Cut right here. And it doesn't have to be even because this won't even be shown anyway. It's better to cut too much than too little because you can always subtract. You can't add once you've cut. And now you're left with this piece here. You want to make sure that this is going to cover. Yes, it will. I'm going to take some glue again. Evenly coat this glue on once again. And then I'm just going to place this over top, just like that. Make sure to fold it on the edges here. And if some aren't sticking like up here, you can just add some more glue here. Just a little bit, you don't need a lot. For the edges, I just kind of tuck them in. Let this dry. This is what this looks like right here. Here is this one. This one is so pretty. What we are going to do now is cut the hole for the actual light switch. Take this a little bit out so that we can fold it over exact same way as we did with original picture.
from one corner to the other I'm just going to cut a line like this because it'll help fold the edges in better. Taking some glue I'm just going to place this just a little bit onto the edges then I can fold it. So this now looks like this and for the screw holes make a tiny X in the screw holes. Take your screws and just poke them in. Now I'm going to spray this with an acrylic coating exact same way as I did with the glitter and then it will be complete. I know how a lot of you guys are crazy for these guys right here so you can definitely do them on a light switch cover. It would be better if you didn't have a big open one because you're going to be cutting out at least three of their faces. So if you have just the tiny little light switch this would perfectly work. Or you could even turn it if you wanted all of their faces or you could just get this or whatever. Whatever you want to crop it out to get you definitely can. This picture would also work depending on what kind of light switch you had. I just know that you guys love these guys here. There are so so many fabric choices, patterns, colors, you name it, which are perfect to use on covers. Going to a thrift store like I did here will allow you to get them for a dollar or two, which is again a bargain for awesome room decor. You don't need to spend a lot of money to get something cute. Here is my fabric. Give myself about a half an inch to an inch around. I'm going to size it up and that looks perfect. Once again, evenly coat in glue. Place this on carefully and just move it around the edges. Put some glue on the edges here and just secure it to the back. So this is what the back looks like and here is the front. This is absolutely Gorgeous. I'm just gonna leave this to dry. Put some glue around the edges here. So here is this light switch cover made out of fabric. And simply just screw. So there you go. You have a really pretty light switch cover. I know I probably could have made this glitter a little bit more straighter, but that just makes it a little bit more homemade and unique and you. for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys learned something or took a trick and made it your own because it can be so expensive to go out and buy a fancy light switch cover when you can just do it yourself and make it more you. I'd love to see your light switch cover if you tweet me a picture of it down below. I'd love to see them. My Twitter is down below. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!